Hello and welcome to another one of my videos and in today's video I'm going to be talking about gold coins you probably should not grade. <laughs> I bought these two coins in, they were sight unseen. One of them I already had a, a home lined up for them so it was kind of okay, it was a very risk off kind of project. This one, I knew the grades on them, I, I phoned up the supplier, they were sight unseen as I said and yeah I'll tell you more about it once I've shared the usual spiel if you do like my content you know to support me below you can do it by liking commenting and subscribing had to get that one out of the way because apparently it's effective i am undecided but hey that's what everyone else seems to do so yeah let's go for it i knew this one would have a home now for those of you who've been following my kind of video slash vlog i bought in a 1985 proof sovereign and i was like yeah i've, I've got the coin that one of my customers wants it's fine and then I remembered her birthday was 1986. And I was like, hmm, yeah, you've kind of messed that one up, Sean. So a 1986 come up. They were both sight unseen. I did phone them up. They didn't say the grade. They were listed as loose proof. So I did phone them up and I said, okay, what are the grades? And they're like, oh, there's 64s. And I'm thinking, ah, oh, that's not a great grade. So there's going to be some form of issues for, for proofs. They were probably loose proofs and someone's graded them. Annex. It's not worth the slab it's in. PCG, PCGS, okay, it's a, as everyone knows, it's one of the two best, it's in the top two in, in terms of grading companies. And I, I sent a message to the lady who wanted it and I said, look, I've got this coin in, oh, it's coming in. I don't know what conditions like, it is a PR64, it is your birth year. Do you still want it in? She, she's arming and on it. I said, look, I, I'll just slap a finder's fee on it. I'm not too interested in maximizing it. I can do it coin in, coin out. I can price it underneath what the going rate is. It's not a problem. And in the end, I just said to her, I was like, if you want, if you want one that is comes with a box and a COA, it's gonna cost you probably around the 570 to 600 mark for this coin, unfortunately. And I can do this one for 400. She, she was happy with it. There is a slight issue here. That's on the case. I can see why it got a 64 cameo. However, she wanted it for her birth year. So it's kind of okay. I, again, I, I can get in and out of the market. She can get her birth year coin at a substantial discount due to what she would be paying. And she can kind of tick that one off the list. So this was a kind of a zero risk play for me. I've made 20 quid for, for not a lot of work really. I've just connected some dots. That's all I've done. That one's okay. In terms of this one, I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know why I ordered this. I don't, I'm not even sure it's a 64. It's got some burnish marks. It's got a scratch somewhere. How's I seeing it? Can you see it? One second. Yeah. It's there. By the A. Can you see it? And by the Queen's nose. They're not hairlines. This coin I'll probably take a loss on. It happens. You know, I'm I still occasionally make losses. Very few of the coins I buy these days make a loss. I'm a lot better buy than I used to be. I should have went I wasn't gonna buy these. I just wasn't gonna buy them. I, I didn't want to get one in. I knew, so essentially what happened was I phoned them up and I said, what what grades are they? And I actually declined them. I said, no, they're not for me. And then the light bulb moment, I was like, ah, oh, it's an 86. You know, I can kind of provide value for someone and make a score. And I accidentally mispriced it as well. I, I quoted a 425. I was looking at the wrong invoice and I was like, oh, no, actually. I, I said to her before, I'll just slap a finder's fee onto it. It wasn't a problem. So I ended up coming down to 400 because... I was going to, I was only slap 20 quid on it regardless. It wasn't, I just quoted it wrong. It does happen. I, I deal with thousands and thousands of pounds of coins. So yeah, this coin here, what do you do with this? Wall of shame, maybe. The type of buyer I am now, I shouldn't be buying this. It's got the burnish marks here. I don't know if you can see it. They're like, they're like copper spots, really. I don't know what's happened. Now the 79 is really hard to get. 
it probably needs regrading i'm not even sure it's worth regrading i might just put it up there as a not a ruined proof well it is kind of a ruined proof isn't it so yeah not everything goes to plan these types of coins are probably not worth grading if i was to get these loose with the scratch on this i wouldn't do it this one probably needs conservation i i've had coins where this has been resolved i reckon that would do better with a bit of conservation personally but it's going to a happy owner or at least i hope she's happy when she gets it this one is an absolute car crash i might lose 20 quid on it it's okay so they've cancelled each other out i've worked for free on this this batch i hope this is kind of useful to some people uh learn from my mistakes it's a lot cheaper to do to to learn from other people's errors i'm putting it out as an educational tool so i hope you enjoyed the video it's only gonna be a shortish one on this one if you do like my content you know to support me right now and i hope you have a wonderful day